let's have a look at uh, Moin, of course, uh, had a bidding war himself and uh, was event for seven crores finally, right? Moin Ali is, is the great story of the IPL when all seems lost, the doors will open and opportunity will knock, <laughs> come knocking. The test match is over, everything is gone. We've got 10 minutes, gentlemen, the gavel's about to bang. 10 minutes for the end of the test match. Can you hit, can you hit five sixes in those 10 minutes? Yes, I can. I'll get seven crores. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, he's going to, and he's going to, he's going to Chennai, which actually, in, I mean, they they have Mitchell Santner there, you know, another the bowler yeah. bad option. Yes, it's uh, interesting. Sorry, Joy. No, no, I'm saying they just went on the same thing. If you saw CSK, they were hugely involved in the Maxwell bid as well. Yeah. So clearly they are looking for a spinning all round. They clearly they're looking for a situation where they're saying maybe not this year, next year pitches are slow. We're going to have this guy who can sort of bowl four overs for us and also tonk the ball. So I think that's what they're looking at because what they do is if they play a spinning all-rounder instead of, say, a Shane Watson, because Watson stopped bowling towards the end, then what happens is they can replace Bravo by a pure bowler. That's mm -hmm. how they can you know, flip their balance around. So if I yeah. only if they change one of their top-order batsmen for a bowling all-round, batting all-rounder, can they bring in or play both? They don't even need to buy a bowler. Play both in Gidi and Tahir or play both Angidi, Hazelwood and Thai. Play those three and play this one batsman and the rest of them are Indian players. So I think yeah. those are the kind of things they were looking at and that's why batting all-rounder and all-rounder made a huge amount of sense for CSK until they finally hit upon that.